Hello, you lovely lot. Well, it's the first instalment of Project Mustang, and we're going to start the modding. You might be asking, well, why not just get a car that has everything on it that you want? But that kind of misses the point. The whole beauty of a car like the Mustang is a blank canvas on which to paint and to make your own. It's perfectly imperfect, if you like. Now, the first thing we're going to do today is fit a kit from Steeder that aligns the IRS on the car. A problem with the Mustang is you can kind of feel it. It feels a little bit wayward at the rear. The back isn't doing what the front's telling it to do. And this kit aligns everything millimetrically perfectly to get the whole back hooked up. So I'm looking forward to that. And fitting it, believe it or not, is the dealer that sold me the car in the first place, which is very switched on thinking for a main dealer. That's Sandy Glyph Ford in Nottingham. And they're actually building a bullet Mustang of their own with a Whipple supercharger. So I think they're probably gonna be all right fitting my IRS alignment kit. So yeah, let's see how we get on. So after a bit of COVID friendly cleanliness, master technician Paul took my car into the workshop. I'll be honest, he's got 40 years of experience as a Ford master tech. So I was expecting great things from him and I wasn't disappointed. When you actually look at it, the Steeder kit is very, very simple. It's just four cylindrical spacers, eight placement plates or brackets. And that just gets the subframe sitting perfectly, exactly where it should be. Now on the line, they don't really have the time or the budget to do that. So the subframe sometimes goes on not perfectly square. And of course, you've got the chance it can move slightly under load. The whole point of this kit, as you can see the movement that the bolt's got there, is to take all of that away. By putting these collars in and the bolt sits perfectly inside, all of that tolerance goes. The subframe can only sit in one place. And what you end up with is a rear end that does exactly what the designers intended it to do. And it makes the suspension work more efficiently. So once Paul was happy with where everything was sitting and the torque setting of all the bolts, it was over to Sandy Cliff's alignment ramp to get everything perfectly square. Now these later cars have a slightly different geometry setting to the earlier cars, so Paul was using that one to make sure we were absolutely spot on. And then it was just a case of, again, talking everything down, making sure we were ready for the test drive. So the whole point of today was to hook up the back of the car ready for the next mods, ready for the suspension, for the rear anti-roll bar, ready for a bit more power. And it really has, it's not a massively expensive kit, that one, but the difference it makes on the character of the car and the way that it handles, the way that it launches is huge. So I would say as a foundation bedrock for what comes next, that was probably the best thing I could do. Right, onto the silly stuff. 